and then I'm going to run the report and then I'm going to filter it by the things that are not specified because now I have my custom field up top and I can filter it by tags now. And I want to filter it by the things that I didn't assign a tag to, the ones that are not specified. So not specified, I could run that and there's that miscellaneous item. So this is similar to if I ran the income statement uh, with a with a with a with a with a classes to the non-specified column that I can now drill down on and say, ah, oh, I didn't assign a class to that one. So I'm gonna go into that one and see if I can drill down on it and say, well, that one should have been business, right? So then I could say that one needs to have a tag up here for business. Boom. Save and close it. And so now everything has been specified between business and personal. So you can you can use it in a similar fashion that way, which is which is kind of neat. So now I've got it broken out, everything business versus personal. And I've got a little income statement for my business side of things. And then the personal is broken out to the side. If I added those two up, I would have my total for income and personal, which I can see by just looking at my total up top, just looking at the total this way. And if I wanted to see if anything was not specified, if my net income here doesn't tie out to the net income of adding these two up for the business and personal this way, and it doesn't because my date range is, let's change the date range. Well, let's keep the date range. I could say it doesn't tie out. Well, then I can go to this one and I can say, let's customize and filter by tags and look at all the transactions that were not specified. And then I can, ha and then I'd have to go in here to each of these transactions and specify them, assign them to business or personal. So that actually works, you know, fair, fairly, fairly well uh, to to break it out. But the other reason you might want to use tags is for those those kind of things where you're not trying to have the full group tie out. So, for example, if I go back on over and I was look at if if you're looking at something like like advertising campaigns and you're trying to tie out the cost of the advertising campaign to the revenue that it's going to be leads that it's going to be generating, then you're not going to have a situation where every advertising campaign is going to be is going to be tied out to your total sales line because you're just going to be because you're just going to you're just going to have tags that are assigned where they're applicable. They might not be assigned to every sales item. Uh, so so that's another place where the tags can be used. So just as a as a bottom line, the tags are similar to the to the to the uh, classes and the location tracking. However, uh, if you're in a situation where you want a, a profit and loss that sh that's going to have every transaction assigned a class or location, those are usually better tools because they give you that non-specified area and the total on the right hand side. Although you can see that there is a workaround to do a similar kind of thing with the tags if you needed to, which you might if you don't have access to the classes or the location tracking because you're in a, a tier down on the level of, of the payment level and you can use the tags in a similar fashion, which is pretty cool. And then again, you can use the tags if you've already used up the classes and location tracking and if you're trying to assign tags to certain things where you don't want all the tag group to tie out to the total, but you're just tagging certain things so that you could write an income statement. And remember, there's a difference in functionality, at least at this point in time, if you run the report from the tags, uh, you might have more filtering options than if you run just a normal profit and loss report. Also, the tags are pretty much limited to the profit and loss report, whereas the groups and the cla the classes and locations have some balance sheet functionality although all of them are more focused kind of on the on the performance or income statement reports